I'm Kevin Gugliotta, also known as the Goog, and today you're going to be cooking with the Goog. Our deal today is frittata, beautiful frittata, healthy frittata, frittata you can eat for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or even when you wake up three in the morning. Anyway, it's great, we're going to make it healthy, and here we go. First thing you take is just a nice little pan, and what we're going to use for our cooking oil, which is, oh, we're going to a lot of superfoods here, coconut oil. Coconut oil is the elixir of life. It is great for everything. So, what we're going to do, we're going to do a little pre-cooking of our ingredients before we throw them into everything into the pan. So we've got peppers, bone peppers, superfood, broccoli, superfood, tomatoes, superfood, last but not least, spinach. This is going to cook down, it'll hardly be anything in there. Superfood. As we cook that, we have some basil and some fresh. Okay, so we do a little mixture here. And like I say, this spinach is going to cook right on down. Boy, nothing but healthy stuff in here. I tell you, nothing but healthy stuff. It doesn't take long. When we cook this down, we're just going to mix everything in our little glass bowl here. I'll tell you a little bit about myself since this is our introductory video. You know, I grew up on the water, young kid. I was a volunteer fireman back in the 70s. And I worked on the tugboat out in the harbor of Baltimore. It was hard, it was fun, it was cold, it was hot. But one thing we had in common, you know, our crew, a lot of our crews, we were stuck out there for days and 18 hour days and weeks at a time. You know, the only real enjoyment we had was uh, food. So we would learn to cook and cook some awesome recipes. Same with the fire department. When I joined my first fire department, Oh my God, they would have dinners that we would have to make money to pay for equipment and help run the company. These ladies and gentlemen, oh my God, fantastic. So I, I, I give my heart out to them. The menus that they had, we used to do fried oysters, the best in the world. And uh, it just it was all real good. So that's a little bit about a background. I'm uh, retired now as a ship pilot and uh, a volunteer fireman. I miss both. So, what do I do? I love to cook. I have a passion for food. So now, I'm here to serve you. So I can teach you to entertain your friends and family with some good, healthy, exciting meals. So here we go, that was just a little something. And uh, now we're pretty much down to where we need it to be. It's all pretty much pre-cooked. We're gonna throw it in our pan. Let it just heat up just a little bit more. We're gonna crack our eggs. I don't know if anybody's ever tell you, I always like, I don't crack them on the rim of the, uh, the, rim, the side of the rim there. I, anyway, so we're gonna have about five eggs here. Nice fresh eggs and a cage free. No antibiotics, the whole deal. So it's good healthy food. We want good healthy food. Alright. And what we're gonna do is put just a little bit of egg whites in here. Okay. And as we always do throughout our meals, we put our pepper or whatever we're doing throughout during different stages makes the flavor super bit bold. Okay, so we're gonna mix up our eggs with our superfood mix in here. Oh my God, this is gonna be too much. You're gonna, there we go. Okay, all right, so here we go. There 
there we go. I'm not going to put it all in there. You know why? Because it's too thick, it doesn't cook from the inside. And one thing that we do sometimes is we uh, will stick it in the oven maybe for a few minutes afterwards. But anyway, here's how you build your frittata. And the most important thing is, once you put it in there, you have enough either oil, butter, whatever you're using. We love coconut oil. And you start bringing it in. Bring it in. I don't know if you can see how it, the liquid comes back out, but you're bringing it in. You're building your frittata. It's working real good here. Finishing our frittata, we built that nice wall. Oh, man, we got most of the gooey stuff out. Now, here comes the fun part. Our little trick. And let's hope and pray it works. We're going to take a plate, put it over top, shake it. Hopefully, it's moving. Oh my god, it didn't work that good. But anyway, that's the problem with live TV. But look at that. Look at that frittata. Doesn't it look delicious? Even though we smeared it over everything. We're going to have one more little coconut oil. And we're going to put the bottom that wasn't cooked, as we've seen. Okay, well that was fun, but that's how it goes on live TV. But we're here to just give you the idea of the recipe and how you can help entertain your friends and family. But this frittata is coming out good now, looking good. Keep shaking it, give it a few minutes. And we're gonna finish cooking it out and it's gonna be good. And you're going to love it. And I tell you, there's never a dull moment around here. But hey, while we're waiting for our frittata to finish up, there's just a couple people that I really want to say thank you to. And that's our military. I love our military, our first responders. So hey, take a minute today to say thank you. You see a vet, say thank you. Okay? See a policeman? I know, they give you tickets and shit. But they are there to protect you. Say thank you. Firemen, say thank you. They're good people. They're risking their life, their time, their energy to help us have a better home and a better life. So to all you military and the first responders from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you so much. So okay, so here we are. We look like we're pretty good now. So what we do is we're gonna get another clean plate and we will serve it. And here you are, your uh, frittata. And we can put cheese and of course uh, you got to have the chef's sauce. There we go. And another little shot of pepper with our garnish basil. And this is for you and your friends. Morning, noon, or not. Thanks for coming by and seeing us. As always, stay safe. And don't forget to kiss the goop. Have a great day. See you soon.